Yeah, so we got, we got a little something special here. We got my friend, my friend Sergio from Aroma Mai. He's gonna be our first, first coffee sponsor for the videos here. We're hoping to get sponsors from companies every time just to be able to enjoy good coffee and also give you guys some coffee. So with that in mind, we got Honey Process here. And that's also a little bit of a hint towards our new film that just came out. And with that in mind, the fly we're gonna tell you today is the fly that I used to catch the trout in the film. So we're gonna be tying a black quill, it's called. So it's kind of like a variation off of a quill gordon or a ginger quill, if you guys have ever seen one of those before. Um, but I thought it was pretty fitting for the film just to be able to plug that a little bit and also plug Aroma Maya. So they've got an awesome coffee here. It's actually probably my favorite that they, that they make and it's local, so you can't really go wrong, can you? So, First off, you want to get your hook. I'm using just a straight, just a straight shank standard dry fly hook. I'm going to be tying it on a size 12 here today. But you can kind of go, you can kind of go as big as a 10 and down to a 16, 18 if you really want to. If you really want to tie an 18 and put yourself through that suffering. First, what you want to do, I, I, again, I've just got some uni thread here, a dot, but. It's a pretty simple fly, but it's effective. I love it. I love fishing it, especially in the early season. It's not as good right now, but it's just a good fly to have in your box. You really shouldn't go without it. Kind of imitates a early May fly, but then also you get a little bit of stone fly action in there too. So you want to get some black. Um, I guess you can use roost or hen hackle for this, but this is for the, for the tail. I like to get probably about six or seven fibers are off of it. Get that tied in there. Perfect. And you want to get some peacock hurl. I got some old stuff here that's hardly got any hurl left on it. So I kind of just stripped it down to the band pretty easily, but maybe for you, you might have to soak it. You might have to soak it. And I think some people soak them in water overnight but for me, I can just kind of strip it off, but you want to strip it to the bare band. Um, and it really doesn't matter if it's a darker hurl or a lighter, but I prefer like a darker one for a black quill. Tie that in there nice and good. Sure it ain't going nowhere. So this is the, one of the best parts, it's kind of satisfying. Just wrap that up there, make sure your lines are neat. Now, what I find is I like the whip finish, tie it off, and then glue the body. Because I find that after a couple fish, um, the fish will just ruin that hurl. They'll ruin that body on the fly. So I, I usually just make sure I got at least one coat on the body. But to save you guys some hassle from having to watch me glue it on, I've already prepared one. So basically, I guess you could use any any thin glue that you want. I just I just use some head cement because that's all I had on me. But probably some loon UV glue would be better. So next is the wing. So for the wing, um, you can I'm using mallard here. I got some mallard flank, but you could use a uh, wood duck. I've seen te uh, like teal, um, but I kind of just like how this mallard color matches pretty well. Um, and these are, this is kind of probably the hardest part of the fly, but it makes it, it makes the fly, so. We'll get that all ready. So for these wings here, I like to get a decent, decent amount. I'll do one wing at a time, but um, I like to get a good amount and just uh, tie it in 
to the front of the head here. Run it back to the middle. This is the tricky part, but you gotta get your thread. You gotta get your thread around this wing, just to, kind of like what you would do with like a parachute atoms or something. You just gotta build up a little bit on this, on this wing here. Just wrap it, just so it will kind of stay together. Uh, takes a little bit of time, but it'll last a long time. I'm just gonna repeat it once more. I'm a lefty, so I obviously, that was my easiest one there. It's always a harder wing to do, but. Pretty much just gonna do the same thing. It's just a little awkward once you get the first one on there. fly I'm telling you it was working good I think the first forecast I took at the hole that we got to I caught one every every forecast it was just didn't even hit the water but when the mayfly is on it's really good so and next the last thing you get to do is you just want to get uh, I got some whitings uh, just some black hackle here some natural black um, you can use dyed or whatever and you just want to make sure that you get a good piece of hackle here. Uh, mine's, mine, I'm using a saddle, so it's a little bit longer of a piece, but you just kind of want to measure, make sure that you're going a little bit past the bend, just a little bit. And I like to do at least three turns. On the back. There we go. One, two, three. Sometimes four before I cross over the wings here. Cross over the wings. I'll do another two or three. There we go. Perfect. Oh, make a little head here and then tie it off. Good to go. And what I like to do, I'm kind of fussy, so I'm gonna brush it forward, make it look as good as I can. Perfect. Finish that off with some glue and then you got yourself a black quill. Nice. Nice early season fly, mid season, all of May, June. It should work even in June. I haven't been fishing it lately, but I'm telling you, it's just a good fly. Um, and it worked. So with that in mind, we just wanna not only do like small fly tying tutorials, um, but just had an idea of kind of what we like to do. I kind of, I just tie flies and drink coffee and it's like, why don't we just make videos out of that? So this time we're partnering up with Rome Maya, like I said earlier. I just want to let you guys know once again, like top-notch company. I love, I love the company. I love uh, just the way that they run things and just the way that they treat their customers. And they just have high-quality coffee in their local Nova Scotia roastery. I'm um, actually just out the road from where I live, um, and I'm good friends with Sergio, um, but. Hey, he was generous enough that he not only give us a bag of coffee, but he has given us a second bag. So we're gonna give that away. 
and we're gonna give a bunch of flies away. We wanna give a few black coals away as part of the giveaway. And we're gonna give away uh, Fins and Tails hat. So it, I just wanna let you guys know, if you wanna get in on that, we're gonna have a post in a couple days letting you know how to do so. Um, but with that in mind, we wanna keep doing these and we wanna keep, we wanna keep being able to give coffee away and give flies away and just to be able to grow together. So I'm still getting comfortable in front of the camera. I'm usually behind the camera. But I just want to thank you guys for watching and hopefully you'll continue to watch. And uh, we'll see you next time.